Hi everyone, welcome back to Colouring with Kay and thank you for joining me today. So I hope you are all doing well and everything is going your way. And so in this video, I thought I would share my five favourite sparkly um, and or shiny mediums. So um, Kitty says hello, so waving his, his, I don't even know if it's his or her, but anyway, it's waving its paw. And so let's put Kitty out of the way and uh, get started. So the first thing are the acrylic decor art mediums and um, yep I've already labelled this up as acrylic decor art mediums. I'm not even, I haven't even planned this properly. Well I've sort of planned it but I just feel I'm quite busy at the moment so I'm trying to do um, what I can. So with this acrylic decor art mediums I've sort of got first of all I've got these galaxy glitters so I discovered these quite early in my um, sort of colouring journey and um, the galaxy glitters by decor art you can get all of these things at um, Amazon. So this is a silver moon and this is clear ice comet so basically they just show you it's just it's sort of let's just get some let's get some paintbrush out here so I mean this is one of my favorites this is called the where is it this one here uh, it's called galaxy glitter clear ice comet and it is one of my favorites and if you were to buy one and if I was to recommend one acrylic decor art medium it would be this glitter um, and what I really like about it is the fact that you can overlay it on um, I should bring you in a little bit there I hope you can see that um, maybe the brightness is too high I don't know right okay so you can see there hopefully that it's 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 absolutely beautiful and you've got different colored glitter pieces in there so you can overlay it on um, pretty much anything I just need some water now so to wipe my brush or to wash my brush should I say so um, that's it right so hopefully you can see that so I have got a few of these different galaxy glitters there's a silver moon one here as well so that one looks like oh, I hope it's not dried so I haven't actually used it for a while no it's not dried it's fine just had a little bit at the top but I have used a fair amount of that but um, I just it's just easy as that I just used um, a brush which you know my older brushes so nothing um, you know not my not my really nice brushes for for putting on this acrylic really um, I keep brushes to use for acrylic glitters and paint separate to my watercolor brushes um, so that's the silver moon one but I have got other colours as well which I'll show you um, a swatch of in a minute so that's the silver moon one the bottom one and that's the one that I highly recommend which is the clear ice comet because you can put that over um, your pencil colourings your marker colourings and um, there's more options with it really so I'd really recommend that one so here are a few of the other galaxy so that's the clear ice comet and the one that i actually showed you first the silver moon one which i showed you as well with the paintbrush just now i've got galaxy glitter big bang so that's got more um sort of brightly colored glitter pieces in it i've got galaxy glitter extraterrestrial green um gold shooting star that one I've got this one which is champagne stardust you can see it there and then this one up here glitter bronze asteroid I do really need to I, I'm I'm in the process of moving these swatches to um, you know loose leaf paper so that they're all together and then galaxy glitter Milky Way blue I think oh I've got some more here as well look uh, that's called pink Cos Cosmo and aquametia and yeah that's it really but if there was one that you, that i recommend out of all of them it would be the clear one because um 
that will be the most versatile for you to use in more places really so yeah that would be a good one so that's that one the other um, acrylic decor art mediums which I've run out of room to show you but anyway are these glamour dusts so I've got a few of these in some different colours so this is finer ultra fine glitter pieces not like the big glitter pieces that you've got with the galaxy glitter so you've got these um, um, ultra fine and let me show you the swatch for that rather than take it out because that'll save time as well so this is the what is it the aqua one now that's quite new so where did I do a swatch of that I can't find a swatch for that but I can find I can see that I've got another glamour dust there a blue one so can you see that the glitter pieces are much finer I've got the ice crystal one which is this if I want a subtle um, effect I will use this um, ice crystal so that's another clear one but with a much more subtle effect so very very fine glitter pieces I've got a glamour dust gold glitz there and the glamour dust silver bling but yeah I've only got a few of those um, but, and I've got a black ice one as well that's it I think yeah a few um, glamour dusts so those are the fine glitter ones and then finally the other ones that I really like so this this is this counts as um, one of my um, favourite shiny or sparkly mediums because they're all deco art products so I sort of grouped them together and then I've got this one which is I just recently discovered the Americana Deco Art Enchanted Shimmer so um, these now you can put the good thing about these is that you can put them down as so basically they're, they're meant to be a top coat acrylic so they give you a, a very slight pearlescent look so that's just on white paper I don't know if you can make that out on the camera um, because they're so pearlescent you can put them over pencil pen whatever you want really and it'll give them a nice shimmer um, if you put them over the this medium here which is the ultra the ultra black base coat so if you put the ultra black base coat down first and then you put um, in fact where's that that's actually here sorry and then you put the deco art shimmer over the top then you get this beautiful um, effect so that's the base coat that I put down it's it's very matte um, it's a very matte base coat and then you put the um, the the actual enchanted shimmer colour on top so I've got the white there the green and the violet uh, here what I did was I just put some black Posca down I didn't even know that there was a base coat available I didn't even realise that there was one so I put Posca down and then I put and, and I put the um, enchanted shimmer on top and so that's the effect you get there um, I do think it's it looks better with the base coat rather than the Posca but there's not much between them really I think you know they still look nice or like I said they're really good for putting over if you want a subtle shimmer over your pencil work or pen work then you these are really nice these enchanted shimmers so yeah that's that's number one basically the decor art mediums so I'm going to pause the video here and then go on to my second um, favorite sparkly medium okay so my second favorite um, sparkly medium is the stickles glitter glue and gels this pad is too small I think but it doesn't matter now started so I'll continue so in this box of mine bring you out a little bit I have all the stickles that I own I don't have all of them but I have a good proportion so um, I mean there's a little bit of Dove Craft in here which is 3D pearl effects um, liquid pearls I've got two or three bottles of those sort of things but the majority are the stickles now um, I'm just gonna I'm just getting up to get the swatch for this because the swatch is actually in a very very old creative companion 2020 organizer and I'm really need to move them to another place so oh no actually they're not in there they're somewhere else 
Um, where are they? I can't actually. You all know what these stickles. You know, hopefully, I think you do. I think you all know what these stickles, um, glitter glues look like. Um, I wonder where it is. Um, it's an old, old, old swatch book, and I think I've put them somewhere. But anyway, let me just show you a little bit on here. So the ones I'd recommend if you are new to Stickles Glitter Glue. Um, I would recommend the clear ones like diamond for instance because um, again they're more versatile than the coloured ones so you just squeeze and try to keep the pressure um, on the bottle the same so that you get an even distribution I haven't done a brilliant job there but it's okay it's not too bad, I guess. So there's that. Um, I've got a few clear ones. There's a few different versions available. There's diamond. I've got two balls of that, so I've got spare. Um, unicorn. Stardust. Um, I'm still annoyed that I can't find where my... Let me just pause the video and see if, see if I can find the swatch book. I found the swatch book. It was actually on the bookshelf and I couldn't see it. Um, because I just recently sorted everything out and sort of rearranged it. So these are all the stickles that I own. I really need to do another swatch of them because this is an old swatch book and um, I'm sort of moving to a new system, which is taking forever. But yeah, I've got a few colours there. Um, the clear ones are the ones that I use the most um, because they're the most versatile, but I, I really like the twinkle. I mean, I like all the, the clear ones, Diamond, Stardust. I'm not so keen on the Frosted Lace. Um, this one's one of my favourites. The Mermaid Tail's absolutely gorgeous, as is the Waterfall. But yeah, these are really nice for, um, I don't know, just, just adding, you know, on a, edges to things, um, just glamming it up. So yeah, they're really, really nice. This is a new one, latest one that I bought, Glisten, which I really like as well. So they are really, really good. So Stickles, definitely my favourites. You can get other glitter glues, but I don't find any as sparkly as Stickles. So recently, um, I discovered that Stickles also have Stickles Glitter Gel, and I've collected all of these. And there's quite a few of them there's different ones that you can get so you can see that you've got different colored ones there I've got two of the nebula ones I think it's a gold one another sort of goldish one purple uh, turquoise blue beautiful blue that and a yellow one so I'll show you the swatches of those because I have actually switched those out there in my uh, swatch book they are beautiful so I just um, I love the little confetti pieces in them and I use these for backgrounds where I just put the gel on my finger and I spread it out so um, it's a matter of just I mean you can you can use um, some sort of well, have I got anything here that I could use you can use a brush or say something like a silicone brush here like this and then sort of take some out and spread it on like this. That is one way of doing it. But I find the easiest way to do it is with your finger. And um, you know, you can make it as thick or thinly spread as you want really. So yeah. Um, I do really like the Stickles Glitter Gel. You get more than you do in the Glitter Glue. And of course, um, there's confetti pieces in there. So I'm just wiping my finger off now from there. So yes, yeah, Stickles Glitter Glue and Glitter Gels are again one of my favourite sparkly mediums. Okay, I'll just pause the video and go to the next one. Okay, so my next uh, third favourite, and this is in no particular order, um, except for the number one place, which is uh, reserved for just one medium, which is my 
most favourite. The other four are in no particular order. So this is the Cosmic Shimmer Pastes. Gosh, I can't even write anymore. My handwriting's so bad right now. So, um, my Cosmic Shimmer Paste, I mean, I haven't got, like I said, all of them. I just put my hand in some glitter there, which happens when you play with these sort of things. So, there's Lunar Pastes, um, which I like, but they definitely aren't my favourites. But these Ultra Sparkle Pastes are definitely um, one of my favourites. This one is actually one of my favourites. It's called the... Um, frosty sparkle and it's just so glittery and again I put it a little bit on my finger and just spread it around I've got a gold one here as well I think this is called yeah it's just called warm gold really so they do last a long time they they are really really nice um, to put um, you know over backgrounds um, there's a lilac one there um, frosted blossom now I actually haven't used the colored ones that often this one's called chic viola don't even think I've ever used that one so again I would um, recommend the clear ones more than the colored ones because they're just they're more versatile so you can use them in more places one of the ones that I use a lot I mean this is really beautiful as well if I can open it that is it's called Aurora Sparkle um, I'll show you a few swatches in a moment but this icicle blue is probably one of my favorites I've actually I think this is the backup um, one that I've got but you can get these on Amazon UK as well I'll show you the swatches of them in fact I'll show you how I just apply them first let's use the chic, chic viola I just like that name and um, again you can use a silicone tipped brush to um, apply. Um, the other way I apply this actually with a brush um, rather than my finger as well. So in small spaces, let's get close up there. So in small spaces, I'd use a brush. So just over a pencil or a watercolour background or an acrylic painted background any background I just put this on top it's actually quite nice that I must use this somewhere so yeah you can apply it with a brush you can apply it with your fingers and then just wash it off afterwards um, you can apply it with one of these silicone brushes anything really um, that allows you to spread it quite easily. Um, I find my finger the easiest though. Whoops. So yeah, put that away, put that away. So here are some swatches of some Cosmic Shimmer. So this is the Icicle Blue Paste. Um, the Frosted Blossom the Chic Viola, the Frosty Sparkle, which is one of my favourites. Um, it doesn't move. I mean, you might get a few bits of glitter off like this. Can you see some, some a little bits come off? But generally, they don't move. So they do stay stuck down. Um, and you don't need to add any adhesive. They actually stick to the page themselves. And then you've got... Um, oh, that's that Stickles Glitter Gel, so that's not it. These are glitter gels. This is Stickles Glitter Gel, Stickles Glitter Gel, which was one of my second things that I showed you. Um, Cosmic Shimmer Lilac Blush Paste, and I've got the Frosted Aqua Paste. So yeah, the paste do give a rough surface though. That's the only thing. So if you apply them, um, you might, for the page that's next to it, when you colour it, you might need to put a few sheets of paper in so that you don't, you're not colouring over a rough surface so that's the only thing you do get a bit of a rough surface with the um, cosmic shimmer paste but they do give a high sparkle which you can see here a lot of sparkle there again if I was to recommend one cosmic shimmer paste it would probably be the frosty sparkle 
or the icicle blue sparkle I think those two are my favorites um okay so yeah that's the cosmic shimmer paste so again I'm going to go off and to um, get get hold of my next um, sparkly medium to show you okay so my next most favorite um, sparkly shiny material I think I was gonna sneeze then okay so but I didn't <laughs> um, is gel pens we all love our gel pens so my favorite gel pens are the glaze the glaze pens are just gorgeous i just love the sakura glaze the beautiful um you know the, the beautiful glossy look they give is just brilliant i love them so i love using glaze pens they are one of my most used um mediums so yeah you can you can see they just they give that glossy look i know that you can have the clear glaze pen as well which gives a really nice glossy look as well so there's a clear one you can buy and many of us colorists on youtube we love our black um which is empty as you can see pretty much we love our black uh glossy glaze pen mine's pretty much finished so i need to replace that um, on Amazon there are some other, I think these are called 3D pens, they're similar to these but they are very very bright colours and um, they're a bit, they're very very inky, they're okay, they're obviously not as good as the, um, the Sakura glaze pens. Um, but yeah, my glaze pens are definitely one of my favourites. Now I've put all the gel pens together and sort of grouped them all together as one type of medium. My other favourites are the um, Pentel Dual Metallic Hybrids. They are absolutely beautiful as well. I just love the dual tone to them. And I love the Arteza. And they're so difficult to get hold of. So Arteza, um, please sort your supply out because we really love these um, iridescent gel pens they don't seem to be available on um, amazon uk or on arteza uk um, so yeah i really hope there are they do um, get them out there more widely so yeah the arteza the arteza um Iridescent gel pens are, my, are one of my favourites, as are the Pentel Dual Metallic Hybrids. Only thing with gel pens is, um, because I don't really use them, the sparkly gel pens, as often as I should. So, I don't want them to dry up, which is always a worry at the back of my head. So, those are one of my favourites. My favourite metallic pens are these, which are the... Oh, there's a contamination there which is not a metallic pen so these are my favorite metallic pens they're the uniball um metallics i find these the work the best these work the best for me i mean i have got the sakura metallics but i don't know they're not as good as these in my opinion um from my experience i can only speak from my experience but i believe that these work really well i just they're so shiny they're probably the uniball ones are just brilliant i love them so yeah so my favorite gel pens are definitely the glaze sakura glaze pens the arteza iridescent gel pens which are hard to get hold of the pentel dual metallic hybrids and the uniball metallics um so that's the gel pens all done so although these four mediums are not in any particular order in terms of my favorites they are my favorites but not in any particular order my number one favorite most 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 favorite um supply that i use pretty much on every page are the metallic slash glitter paints so these are the paints i have to get them 
have to get them now so these are the pins that um purchased from say renaissance on etsy so the handmade watercolor paints um from etsy they're all included i've got some from art spirits here absolutely beautiful beautiful paints just they're so lovely um they just they are my most favorite shiny medium here's another one um and i've got so many now as well i'm i'm so fortunate um this is another rebecca's paints um art spirits i can't wait till she gets more out because i would definitely get them um so i've got the handmade ones um this is a glitter one from the art spirits and it's rainbow dust and mirror dust they're just beautiful absolutely beautiful to use as a glitter overlay on you know on a background or wherever you want really they're so lovely to use highly highly recommend those um so yeah metallic paints and i also have um some clearo paints which i'm trying to get rid of right so um the etsy paints are definitely absolutely gorgeous paints I mean I can show you a few examples just have to find them so these are some of the this is the art spirits ocean set so beautiful um, I've got some more here from um, Rebecca the art spirits I've got some KJ designs by Karen there some renaissance watercolors so they are absolutely beautiful paints um, they do they are more expensive of course this is a renaissance uh, paints fortune is one of my favorite paints from her as is liquid chrome those two are my favorites um, and we have of course the ones that you can get I mean this one here is a, cu a custom palette Calero. Um and I often get asked um, people often ask me how come you get your um, paints you know how come you get them to look smooth and not patchy um, well all I do is I put a few this is my favorite color at the moment cinnamon it's it's a new one it's actually stunning and I put a few drops on as you can see just like this and um, you have to leave it on the pan for two minutes or so or two and a half minutes and um, if you leave it for that time then the paint will dissolve and become creamy so that you can you can use it so I think I've got a swatch while well, that's waiting on there a swatch of all my clear paints I think I have pretty much almost all of them I might be missing one or two but yeah these are all the I've collected them over many years uh, yeah these these are all them on two pages basically yeah all of those I have other metallic paints as well but these Calero paints and the handmade paints by um by the Etsy sellers are my um, favorite so th they're definitely my number one medium favorite medium so just to show you I can find let's use this brush just to show you I don't think that the water on there has has you know stayed on the pan long enough so if I try to and if I don't mix in the um, water or leave the water on long enough then it's very watery you can see which is not really how I use it so definitely you have to mix the paint um, and to me that that paint is not ready to use yet it's too um, it's not creamy enough so it's not thick enough um, so I would leave it for longer so that's one tip that I would say um, to definitely leave the paint I mean leave it for until it's nice and creamy that might be two minutes three minutes 
it should definitely be done by three minutes or three and a half minutes I would say but yeah the longer you leave it the better it is so um, what else can I what else can I say oh yes yeah, so what I was going to do is I was going to show you a few books um, where I've got completed pages and see where I've used some of these glittery mediums um, ideally what I would have done is shown an example of this an example of this and an example of each of them but it was going to take me far far too long to try to look through all my books and find examples when I um, haven't got the time to really do that so I'm going to put this to the side and then let that paint thicken up a little bit and then I will try it so leave that to the side so let's have a look at this book here by Hannah Carlson it's the Forest Kingdom I think so here that's one example where bring you in a little bit shall we yep that's one example where I've used the stickles glitter gel um, on the background there so yeah you can see the confetti pieces there so that's one where I've used the stickles glitter gel here I've used um, the metallic paints in the background I rarely do that where I just use metallic paints over the whole background and then the stickles glitter gel again around the border of the picture as well so that's that one for um, this one has got cosmic shimmer paste so that there at the bottom is um, a violet cosmic shimmer paste I think to go with this so I actually have used a coloured one so yeah that's um, cosmic shimmer paste there on the top and the bottom um, I don't think there was anything there that was nope okay so let's have a look at fairy celebrations see if there's anything in here Um, I think I've got a bit of glitter um, glitter paint there from the Art Spirits and then obviously this here that you can see there's metallic paint like I said most of my pages have um, they will have uh, metallic paint on them for sure so again metallic paint there um, not sure there's anything else there's some um, gel pen here as well but metallic paint definitely oh I've got some Calero blue pearl paint here on these rock like things I've also got um, the cosmic shimmer paste sparkle sparkle paste here frosty sparkle that's what it's called that's it frosty sparkle so yeah um, I've got glossy accents here on the roof um, but that that wasn't in my favorites list okay what else have we got I'm just going to show you a few more now worlds within worlds I've done a lot in this book but I haven't worked in it for quite a long time so again this is a black um, black acrylic background and then on top of it I've got the decor art um, I've got the decor art, what's it called, the, oh it's here somewhere, let me show you this Galaxy Glitter Clear Ice Comet, so I've got that on the black background, you can see it's a lovely shimmering glitter, so it's the one with the bigger glitter pieces, um, so yeah that's that one, are we all fully out here, yeah we are now okay what else anything else not really any major right that's metallic paints there that you can see um, metallic paints on the red ants oh I think hang on a minute there over here on the background I've got the glamour dust so can you see this gold that's the uh, decor art gold glamour dust that's sparkling there on the background yeah it gives us more of a subtle effect so you've got the fine glitter pieces 
cosmic shimmer paste here on the big icicle so yeah you can see that I've been another more cosmic shimmer paste there on the background of this crown and of course loads of metallic paint there as well so you can see um, I really do use use it a lot and that's another decor art galaxy glitter on the background some stickles there we go stickles glitter glue on here on the water stickles glitter glue um, some metallic paint there there's a glaze pen there the black glaze pen uh, black glaze pen there as well cosmic shimmer paste on the background so it's just um, an embellishment that you have here Oof, I've done these so badly they're just not nice oh dear I like this though I like my dinosaur um, you've s silver uniball gel pen for the scale markings on the dinosaur so yeah that's it so um, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you stuck with me to the end well done before I go let's just see if I can use this um, paint now so can you see it's much thicker now I hope you can tell well, let me bring you in a bit and then you'll be able to see a bit better so if you look at it now it's had quite a lot of time to sit there and it's really thickened up and um, yeah it's it's much you know opaque it's more opaque now and it's definitely compared to that I mean both looks you can use for different purposes you can use this more watery look if that's what you look going for um, but I usually go for this look here where it gives quite a bold metallic look but um, there's no reason why I can't go for that for some for some um, you know pages that I'm you know where I want it to look more washed out I guess but yeah metallic paint definitely my number one favorite shiny medium but the other four um, are also things that I really like so I hope you found this video uh, a little bit useful and until next time take care happy coloring bye